Hello and welcome back to Skyrim. My name is Ruben and right now I have something to announce. After hearing this you may well think it's a sign of the end times or something equally significant. But I have cleared my inventory out. Ta-da! 195 out of 430. <laughs> That's mighty impressive if I do say so myself. Now there are a couple of items that I can't drop like the Elder Scrolls that weigh a whole lot. I don't know why a scroll, no matter how old, weighs 20. I don't get it. I've only got three weapons. One of them's actually a tool. Got the Dragonbone Sword, the Crossbow, and that's that. In terms of armor, I'm still sticking with the Nightingale for now. But I was thinking of trying the Deathbrand set out. When I get it, we'll see. I'm assuming it's going to be really, really good because it came with Dragonborn. But I did good. Okay. I'm just going to pat myself on the back for this. Because I got rid of a whole bunch of stuff. This is all I've got in my miscellaneous tab. <laughs> Look at it. Look at it. Wow. I kept items that are firstly required for quests. And secondly, the stuff that I collected here on Solstheim. Because I feel that they might be useful. Someone here might need them perhaps be collecting them, whatever. But those are the items that I'll just sort at a later date. I dropped most of my soul gems, still got a couple of them here. And other than that, I just wasn't really able to get it much lower than 195. These are all quest items. This is all stuff that I either need for quests or think I might require for a quest at some point. I don't know. I don't know. But I am a whole lot lighter right now. Are you okay, buddy? Are you okay? He always gets the shakes when he goes into the water. Added to all of that, I've also discovered that there is, in fact, a cave behind this waterfall. It was both left as a comment on the previous video, and I realized that I hadn't properly explored the headwaters of Harstrad. So I had to come all the way here to explore it, and then I discovered, well, you know, I can enter Hotstrad Cave. So let's do it. Let's go. Hopefully there are going to be some more Spriggans in here because I need me some more tap roots to fix the giant mushroom tower. Ooh, there's a chest right there. Hey, hey, hey. I see you, buddy. I see you. No, no. Has it spotted me? I think it has. Come on, come on, come on. Let's... It hasn't attacked yet, though. Maybe... It's a friendly... Let's mosey on closer. See if she's gonna attack. She's gonna attack. <laughs> Where are you? Where are you? What? Is this? No, that's not even her. This is her. She's a bram! Ooh, Spriggan Earth Mother. This is a special one. Yet I still took it down in, what was that, two strikes? And there's the taproot. I think I'm done. Soak them. No the heck ways. Is this it for the cave? Well, that's a little bit disappointing. Truly. I was hoping for a bit more, but you know what? That just means we can get straight back to the main quest quicker. Ebony helmet? No. Stalrim hammer. 2,600. If I haven't cl hadn't cleared my inventory out, then there would have been no way of me carrying that. No way. 29 weight? Uh, uh, uh. Insta overburdened. But hey, look at me. Still as light as ever. Even with that hammer on board. So let's soak them. Done and done. I'm glad that wasn't too difficult. Because as I said, now we can just continue with the main quest line immediately. I'm cool with it. I'm not sure if we should perhaps fast travel back to the mushroom tower quickly. Hmm. Because if we hand them in right now, we might get another quest or something that would perhaps send us up here to the northern end of Solstheim. Yes. So I think we're going to head back to hand this in 
I tell Mithrin, it says she's at the Sunstone. Maybe we'll go to the Sunstone. Check that out first. Wow, look at this guy. That's... That's an impressive looking blade. Huh. Kind of cool. This makes you wish you wore heavy armor. Is that even heavy armor? It looks like heavy armor. Huh. Makes you wish. Also, seeing something like this, and considering the fact that I just assume because he's got a big two-hander, he's got heavy armor on, uh, I'd like to, in Elder Scrolls Online, do something different with my character, if it's even possible. Maybe make a light armor wearing greatsword wielder. That would be great. I'd love that. There was a class like that in Age of Conan that I was a huge fan of. A priest of some sort? Stigmir? Something like that. It used cloth armor and it wielded the big weapon. Sort of like a Mesmer in Guild Wars 2. I gotta say that would be a whole lot of fun. I don't know if Skyrim would allow that. I don't know if Elder Scrolls Online would allow that, but it would be fun. Now through him do we see. Cool. I don't care if he's a master Our wizard. He can't treat me like <laughs> What is she doing here? She's clearly not being possessed like the rest of them. Now, I have the taproot. Truly? Well done. Oh. I'll just keep two of them for myself. No need for Neloth to know. Huh? Take that last taproot and plant it into the wall of the withered house. You know what? That's just straight up smart. It really is. I have nothing bad to say about that. She's looking to the future. She knows that she won't be able to make the trip up to the headwaters anytime soon. So, she thought ahead. She planned ahead by asking me to get three, knowing she'd only need one. So, the next time she needs one, she's got one. The time after that, hey presto. She has one. Clever girl. Clever girl. Now where the heck do I plant this thing? Is it around the back? Let us have a peek. It is definitely around the back. I wonder if it's going to change the way this mushroom tower looks. I'd love it if they went to that detail. If they actually altered its appearance somehow. I don't think it's going to change in any way. But you never know. Is it? Around the back? It's on the other side. Fine. You know, I haven't looked around the back yet anyway. So let's give it a peek. What is that? I'll go down there in a mere moment. Because that does most definitely look like something that demands closer inspection. What? Is it inside? Did I just misspot it? It is. Huh. Oh, fine. Let's check it out. I wonder if after doing this, Master Neloth is going to have a quest for me or something. I guess that's a possibility. You guys were saying that there's more to him than meets the eye. Huh. Oh. Okay. Up we go. Come, Yor. Come. Float with me. Where is it? Is that the spot? Master, you promised to teach me a new conjuration spell. That was before you ruined that staff. Fix the staff, and I'll teach you the spell. Shame. Yes, Master. <laughs> Thank you, Master. I'll fix Let's it do it. Away. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Master Neloth, where be you? Have you seen Verona? I'm hungry. No! No, who's Verona? Well, find her. Tell her I want apple cabbage stew with some canis root tea. <laughs> Are these the kind of quests I'm going to have to do for this dude? Why don't you just make your own tea? What? Make my own tea? I am a master wizard of the house, Telvani. Other people make tea for me. You know what? Straight up. I respect that. Uh, of course. Finally. 
Someone who recognizes my importance around here. <laughs> okay. That's amazing. Now, where did I put... Oh, yeah. Absolutely amazing. I like this guy already. Man, that looks unsafe. Now, I wonder if she's going to give me a reward. You know what I'd like as a reward? Another quest. That's what I'd like. Another quest that involves the Great Mushroom Tower and the people that reside in it. Huh? 7 a.m. Oh, right. She's getting a quick hour or two's worth of shut eye. After her slavery. Got something for just about everybody in here. Damn that man. He's been totally unreasonable. What? Uh, the taproot's been planted. Good. Now maybe Neloth will get off my back about it. I suppose you think you should get paid for helping an old woman. Here, take these. I'll sell you more if you come back later. Potion of ultimate well-being. Funny that the people of this mushroom tower would give me potions of well-being. <sighs> they are all so lazy. Everyone wants me to do something for them. Everyone's busy ruining something. Have you seen Verona? She left for Raven Rock hours ago. She promised to bring me back some fresh blister wart. Everyone has to do something for everyone else around here. What do you have for sale? Every type of fungus in Solstheim or Skyrim. Oh, and a few other ingredients and potions. Hmm. There's a Daedra heart here. Invisibility potion recipe. Can we make that yet? I don't know. Nurn root. Don't think I need that. Although you know what? Maybe I'm going to buy this potion of well-being. And the healing potions. Because I have more than enough money. Huh. These ones as well. I like it. Speech has increased. <laughs> Man, I don't need no speech. Is that it? Thank you. Oh, thank you very much. Now, can I sell you some stuff to get my gold back? Is there anything you'd like to buy? Not really. Potions, Daedra Hots? Nah. Azora, light your steps. So, was that clue enough for me to find Verona? Let's have a look. Let's ask around a little more to see if anyone else perhaps spotted her. Or does that mean I have to go back inside? Nah. Uh, let's just head on out of here. Oh, and while I was clearing my bags out, I received word that Rallus Sidorus wanted to see me. The dude doing the excavation on my dime wanted to see me. So maybe we're going to head straight over there, check it out, see what's up, then go back up to the headwaters. Because I'm kind of intrigued. I want to see how far he's actually gotten. And I want to hear how much more money he wants. Because it's obvious. It is super obvious that that guy is going to try bleed me dry. He's just going to keep asking for money over and over again. And somehow waste it on something other than ex excavating the barrow. We'll see. We'll see in just a second if I'm in fact right. But well, that's what I suspect. He didn't seem like the honest type at all. Here we go. Nice tents. Is that where all my gold is going? Nice table. Oh, it's you. You don't sound happy to see me. What's going on? This isn't good. We only got a little ways in when something managed to wake up the Draugr. Before I could blink, 
All the miners were dead, and I was next in line. The restless dead. Don't think anyone else might I suggest we proceed. This is what I get for skimping on labor. Does this mean he actually got in, though? Well, unless you want to deal with the Draugr, this whole little venture of ours is over. Might be over either way. It looked like a dead end before the place started crawling. We could have missed something, though. I don't know. Oh. Well, that's interesting. So he didn't want more money. Ah. Oh. I guess I'd call that good news. Let's check it out. See what's in here. See if we can find a way deeper into the barrow. If they give me an objective to find a way deeper in, there's gotta be a way deeper in. I just have to find it. That much is obvious. Let's go. Let's get it done. I do wonder, however, if he's gonna need more money to hire more miners or excavators or this time around adventurers. To deal with the creepy crawlies inside here. Huh? Hello? <laughs> Am I gonna get the jump on them? This is amazing. <laughs> Bam! Oh. Well. Don't think a sneak attack was entirely necessary there. Wow, look at this place. It actually does look like he was busy excavating any of this little sand line around. You can see his tools over there. Oh. And these right here are the miners. Look at that dude. He looks mighty important. Not for long. <laughs> oh, it's a death lord of all things. That is incredibly unfortunate that they were to find one of them down here. Sounds like a dragon. Come on, come on, come on. Charge! The charge didn't work. What the heck? <laughs> okay, block. Ooh. You missed, buddy. You missed. Was that Talgrin Sarrow that just lit the dude up? It wasn't me. And it was definitely not Yoran. Come on! I want to fight too. Where's this guy going? Bam! I just crushed that guy's skull in. Mighty impressive. So, what? I'm guessing the miners were like fiddling around here at this altar. When the Draugo woke up. That makes sense. Ooh. Some soul gems. There's a shovel. And I wouldn't say this looks... Like a dead end. Not to me, at least. Not to the keen eye of an adventurer. Let's check it out. This has got to be it. So... Oh, wait, do I need to speak to him again? No. Find a way deeper into the barrow. Okay. So... There are is that a pressure plate? Dead. I suggest <laughs> that was simple enough. Caution. Yes. Yes, Taldrin. We've heard that many times before. Restless dead. Uh-huh. What is this? Boots of water walking. Ozzy Dahl's boots. So these are boots that make you walk on water. That's actually kind of impressive. Huh. I wonder if there's an entire set. Maybe another piece like leggings or whatever that make you jump super high. Imagine how fun that would be. A chest piece that shields you from damage. A helmet that allows you to detect life. That would be so much fun. It really would be. Speak to Relis. Was he here for the boots? I don't think he wants the actual boots. He more so just wants affirmation. He wants to confirm his suspicions. We'll see. See what the dude says. 
but I have in fact cleared the place out and I'm sure you can safely head on in there. Hey buddy, where are you? Rallus. Rallus, my friend. Dealt with Raga and found a way past the dead end. Well, perhaps there's some hope for us yet. Now, I have to go recruit some more miners. It won't be easy seeing as none of their friends came back from the first attack. <sighs> we'll have to sweeten the pot a bit this time. There I it is. I need, say, 2,000 septums to hire replacements. There it is. 2,000 septums. I never get tired of that sound. It'll take me a few days to dig up some more laborers, but swing back when you get a chance. See how we're doing. You are a snake. Rallus, my friend. You're a snake. Taking all my money. Oh. Okay. Now we can finally head back up to continue with the main quest line. And that's that.